At Cabelco, we've been building cranes since 1930, and today we offer several models to fit all your construction needs. All Cabelco models meet ANSI B30.5 standards. In this video, we're going to demonstrate the sub-assembly, self-erection system, operation and disassembly of the 160-ton CK1600G. This machine has a basic boom length of 50 feet and a maximum of 250 feet. The maximum boom and jib combination is 200 feet of main boom with a 100-foot jib. A luffing jib attachment is also available on the CK1600G. The working weight of the CK1600G is 303,400 pounds and is powered by a 363 horsepower interim Tier 4 compliant Hino engine. The dimensions of the CK1600G are 25 feet 10 inches from the top of the gantry. The overall length of the crawlers is 25 feet 10 inches and the width of the crawlers is 21 feet 9 inches. The width of the crawler shoe is 48 inches. The CK1600G will transport with crawler frames removed and will be shipped from the factory without the boom base section installed. In this configuration, the weight of the machine is 71,400 pounds. The boom and counterweights transport best on a 38-foot step deck type trailer. The counterweight is placed on the bed of the haul truck and the boom can be placed on top. As always, the counterweight can be secured with a chain, but the boom should only be secured with nylon straps. Each boom section, base, tips, and inserts are labeled with identification tags. When unloading the base machine, make sure that the operator has read and understands the operations and maintenance manual. When unloading the boom inserts and counterweight, use suitable nylon straps. The total weight of each piece is noted in the operation and maintenance manual, and the counterweights also have decals on them giving the total weight of each piece. Boom sections are marked with decals to identify picking points. Now let's demonstrate the unloading of the CK1600G main machine. First, fold down the catwalks near the cab for easier access. Press the icon on the LMI showing the boom apart and hold it for 3 seconds. This puts the LMI into setup mode. This will allow all functions to operate during the sub-assembly process. The machine is equipped with hydraulic jacks called translifters to lift the main machine up 42 inches for easy loading and unloading from the transport truck. To operate, first remove the swing arm locking pins. Swing the translifter arms out to the working position and replace the locking pins. Make sure all four locking pins are fully inserted and spring pins are installed on the bottom side of the lock pins. Install the floats on the bottom of each translifter and secure with locking pins. Unless working on concrete or a very hard surface, use good quality matting or steel plates under each float. The cable to operate the remote box for the translifters will now need to be connected. Start the engine and set the speed to approximately 1000 RPM. The four outside switches on the control box control the four individual translifter jacks. We're now ready to lower the translifter jacks and raise the machine off of the transport truck. Extend the rear cylinders two at a time up about three inches and then level up the machine by extending the front cylinders up the same distance. Make sure that the four floats stay firmly on the ground during the lifting procedure. Make adjustments as needed to keep the machine level from side to side. A level is mounted on the car body of the machine as an aid to keep the machine level. Continue this process until all cylinders are fully extended. Make sure the machine is completely clear of the bed of the haul truck. Slowly drive the truck from under the machine. Lower the machine to the ground using the same method as when raising.